For years, the dream of owning an electric car clashed with an unaffordable reality. But now, that's about to change with the arrival of a game-changing model, the Tesla Model 2. The proposal is both bold and pragmatic, offering a compact five-seat SUV with all the essentials for everyday life without frills. The intention is clear, to target the audience that wants to switch to electric cars but never had the budget to do so. And the formula for achieving this balance between cost and value starts with the platform. Instead of creating something from scratch, Tesla took the Model Y's foundation and reworked the design, stripping away what doesn't add value for the average consumer. This strategy reduces complexity, reduces the cost of parts, and speeds up assembly. But this isn't a simplistic or unfinished car. What changes is the logic behind what really matters. One of the most ingenious features is the adoption of a 48-volt electrical system, a rarity even among premium brands. This higher voltage allows for the same power output with much less current, resulting in thinner wires, lighter connectors, and significant weight savings. And weight in an electric car impacts everything, from range to drivability. This change provides up to 10 extra kilometers per charge, simply due to the efficiency of the wiring. Another surprising aspect is the use of so-called gigacastings, giant cast aluminum parts that replace dozens of smaller parts that were previously welded individually. These parts are applied to the front and rear of the structure, making the chassis both more rigid and lighter. This reduces assembly time on the production line by eliminating time-consuming steps and automating the process. For the end customer, the benefit is a more robust, safer car with less chance of structural problems over the years. The combination of fewer parts and greater integration is the kind of innovation that often goes unnoticed but is a game-changer. Inside, the Model 2 Hititent, Hitutintinau, follows the less is more philosophy. Instead of scattered buttons and duplicated interfaces, the dashboard features a single central screen that controls virtually everything, from air conditioning to navigation. This may sound radical, but it's already a well-established concept among Tesla fans. The difference now is that the interior was designed from the ground up to be assembled in record time. Seats, door panels, and even the dashboard are modular, with quick fitting and few screws. This speeds up the production process and reduces future maintenance costs, in addition to allowing parts to be easily replaced or upgraded. The choice of materials also follows a practical logic. No luxury finishes, imported leather, or chrome accents. The focus is on durable, easy-to-clean, and heavy-duty surfaces, ideal for those considering using the vehicle for ride-hailing, business, or even families with small children. This more functional approach doesn't compromise basic comfort, but it makes it clear that the car was designed for extensive driving with as little wear and tear as possible. It's the kind of interior that withstands daily routine and doesn't require excessive maintenance to remain presentable over time. Another interesting point is what was removed. Items like ambient lighting, rear screens, or more sophisticated aesthetic details are simply not part of the package. And this isn't by oversight, but by choice. By ditching elements considered superfluous, Tesla is able to save on components, reduce weight, and deliver a more affordable vehicle. The goal isn't to compete with luxury cars, but with practical and efficient urban mobility options. This puts the Model 2 in a unique position. It's an electric car that doesn't try to appear more expensive than it is, and that, in itself, is revolutionary. Compared to the Model Y, the Model 2 doesn't lose its technological essence, but it does leave aside the excess. It doesn't seek to impress with absurd power or cinematic finishes, but rather with logic and objectivity. The focus is on delivering what's necessary with quality and intelligence, and that means cutting what's unnecessary, optimizing what can be optimized, and streamlining production. The result is a car that, while simpler, 
embodies Tesla's core values, energy efficiency, fast charging, and advanced software features at a price that could finally open its doors to the general public. Compared to the Model 3, the Model 2 is more durable and modular, ready for intense use in urban environments. It may not have the sporty charm of its older sibling, but it makes up for it with solid construction and simplified maintenance. It's a car that understands its purpose and delivers what it promises without fuss. Ideal for those who want to break free from fossil fuel dependence without spending a fortune, while still having access to a digital ecosystem that evolves with constant updates. The Model 2 represents a quiet yet powerful shift in the way electric cars are viewed. While the Model 2 efficiently targets accessibility, Tesla is also preparing something aimed at a different audience, families who need space, comfort, and practicality in a single package. The six-seat Model Y responds to this demand, featuring a clever layout that completely reorganizes the experience inside the SUV. The new Tukatuk Swak 2 configuration, with two independent seats in the middle and a third row for two additional passengers, promises to transform the perception of space and convenience. This isn't just a cosmetic change. It's a strategic redesign to serve regions with high demand for family SUVs, such as China and Europe. What's most striking about this design is how Tesla is focusing on ergonomics rather than simply piling on more seats. The middle row seats are independent, freeing up a central aisle for easier access to the rear, a simple detail that makes a huge difference for those with small children or the elderly. This freedom of movement eliminates the hassle of folding seats or contorting to reach the last row. It's a subtle advancement, but one that demonstrates rare attention to real-world use, going far beyond the spec sheets. And this layout doesn't just offer easy access. The seating arrangement also significantly improves lateral comfort. In a traditional seven-seat SUV, the middle seat is often cramped and shared by three people. In the six-seat Model Y, each occupant has their own space without competing for elbow room or armrests. This configuration can provide up to 25% more lateral space per passenger. In a vehicle with an interior width of about 1.5 meters, this translates to nearly half a meter per seat, a difference felt in daily use, especially on long trips. Another quiet but practical advantage is the height of each seat. With the new layout, Tesla was able to optimize the positioning of the seats for easier entry and exit, especially in the third row. This improves usability and further enhances the feeling of spaciousness in the interior. And for those who think the third row is synonymous with discomfort, this design breaks that stigma. The last two seats are designed to accommodate adults with decent leg and headroom. It's not luxury, but it's comfortable enough for urban commutes and even some longer trips. Visually, the car maintains the original Model Y's identity. Clean lines, a sporty feel, and a lack of exaggeration remain. But beneath the skin, the focus is different, accommodating more people efficiently and safely. The reinforced structure maintains the body's rigidity, essential for cornering stability and collision protection. Tesla also included adjustments to the sound insulation and ventilation systems to ensure all rows receive even airflow. Every small detail shapes this version's purpose, making it not just bigger, but truly better for those who need more seats. In terms of technology, the new Model Y remains true to Tesla's philosophy. Everything is controlled by a central screen and constantly evolving software. However, the infotainment system has been calibrated to handle multiple simultaneous users. The screen can split content, manage different temperature zones, and even predict through profiles who is sitting in each seat. This onboard intelligence transforms the experience of a simple commute into something more personal and efficient, especially for families who share the car with adults, children, and even pets. From a market perspective, this version puts Tesla on a direct collision course with established models such as the Toyota Highlander, Honda Pilot, 
and Ford Explorer. These cars dominated the combustion engine family SUV segment for years. Now, Tesla is positioning itself to compete in this space with a quieter, more connected electric car. And the curious thing is that, even with this increase in interior capacity, the six-seater Model Y maintains similar exterior dimensions without becoming cumbersome on the streets or in tight parking lots. If cars are Tesla's body, chips are its brain, and the new AI6 is proof of this. The result of a $16, 5 billion contract with Samsung, this chip will be produced in the United States in a dedicated facility in Texas by 2034. It's not a simple electronic component, but a central piece in the company's technological domination plan. With eight tensor cores and five exaflops of performance in a tiny 35 by 35 mm chip, AI6 is the engine behind everything. Autonomous cars, humanoid robots, and even Tesla's data centers. It's poised to easily replace the former Dojo project, which was already ambitious in its own right. The key differentiator of AI6 lies not only in its raw power, but in the way it centralizes control of all the company's artificial intelligence. Until now, separate systems handled neural network training, real-time vehicle decisions, and Optimus robot tasks. Now, all of this will be integrated into a single piece of hardware with a unified architecture, accelerating learning, reducing production costs, and raising efficiency to unprecedented levels. It's like removing excess gears from a machine and replacing them with a central processor that controls everything with greater precision and speed. A concrete example of this chip's impact is in testing with the FSD, full self-driving system. AI6 offers up to 10 times faster inference speed than AI4, reducing the time between image capture and the car's response. This means faster reactions, more human-like decisions, and most importantly, greater safety. Lower latency allows the vehicle to perceive and react in near real time to sudden changes, such as a pedestrian crossing outside the lane or a car braking suddenly. And the less time it takes for the car to understand its surroundings, the more natural its driving will be. Another crucial point is energy consumption. With the new three nanometer technology, and future plans for two trenimetrum, the AI6 chip can perform more operations while using less battery power. In an electric car, where every watt counts, this represents a significant gain in range and cost reduction. By designing and producing its own chip, Tesla avoids dependence on external suppliers and can adjust its architectures according to the specific needs of its products. This reduces the risk of shortages, such as those that have affected the entire automotive industry in recent years, and ensures a competitive advantage on a global scale. The chip will also be the brain of Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot, which is still in the early stages of development. With AI6, the robot will be able to process complex tasks in real time without relying on external server connections. The idea is for it to learn from observation respond to commands in natural language, and execute routines quickly. This would make it useful in industrial, residential, and even medical settings. Tesla doesn't just want to build a robot. It wants to create autonomous mobile intelligence, capable of thinking and acting based on the same principles that guide its vehicles. System unification also means savings. Previously, each application, whether in a car, robot, or server required its own infrastructure, language, and maintenance. Now, with AI6, everything revolves around a single hardware and software ecosystem. This facilitates updates, integrations, and even the adoption of new features through simple software packages. Tesla is betting heavily on flexibility, and this chip is like a bridge between the physical and digital worlds, capable of evolving over time without the need to replace the entire device. This shift in strategy led to the official discontinuation of the Dojo supercomputer, which until then had been the star of the company's AI training business. With AI6, 
Tesla eliminated the need to maintain separate hardware for training and inference, as the new chip can handle both. This represents a huge savings in resources and a leap in operational efficiency, in addition to making scalability much more feasible. Instead of large, dedicated servers, simply spread AI6 chips across distributed, connected units, whether in cars, robots, or data centers. With the AI6 chip advancing as a key component of intelligence in Tesla's vehicles and robots, it's essential to ensure an equally powerful physical infrastructure to support all this innovation. This is where the mega factories and the company's new focus on domestic battery production in the United States come in. The strategy is clear. Reduce dependence on vulnerable global supply chains, avoid the impact of tariffs, and maintain complete control over the most critical components. Therefore, Tesla is building a new LFP, lithium iron phosphate cell factory, scheduled to open in late 2025, and a colossal mega factory outside Houston, scheduled to open in 2026. Located in Waller County, the new Texas plant will occupy approximately 1 million square feet and generate approximately 1,500 direct jobs. This facility will not be just another battery factory, but a strategic hub to meet the growing energy demand for Tesla products, including cars, trucks, residential storage systems, and large-scale energy projects. Alongside the already established units in California and Shanghai, the Houston Mega Factory will form a production triad capable of supplying the West with agility, even in international crisis scenarios. The main focus of this expansion is on batteries with LFP chemistry, known for their durability, thermal safety, and lower cost. Unlike traditional batteries using nickel, manganese, and cobalt, LFPs have lower energy density but are cheaper to produce and extremely stable an ideal choice for stationary applications or vehicles with shorter ranges. With this new plant, Tesla expects to reduce the average cost per cell by up to 32% compared to NMC batteries, representing a significant leap in the profitability of Tesla Energy's operations. Products like the Powerwall 3 and Megapacks will be the biggest beneficiaries of this new supply chain. The Powerwall 3, for example, will offer 13.5 kilowatts of storage with 11.5 kilo of continuous power, enough to keep a home running even during a prolonged blackout. Megapacks are larger units designed for grid stabilization, data centers, and industrial applications. Each megapack stores nearly 4,000 kilowatt with over 93% energy conversion efficiency. They are truly scalable power blocks that can be stacked to form complete power stations. By manufacturing its own LFP cells, Tesla not only saves money, but also reduces delivery times for these massive projects. Previously, it was necessary to import a large portion of the cells from Asia, which increased lead times, risks, and logistical costs. With local production, these obstacles are drastically reduced. The company can handle projects more quickly and adaptably without relying on the back and forth of ships or the volatility of international tariffs. In an industry where implementation time can decide billion-dollar contracts, this agility represents an unquestionable competitive advantage. The decision to expand the LFP-based product line also reflects a market trend. Batteries with this chemistry have a longer lifespan and require less cooling. This means fewer components in the system, less maintenance, and greater reliability over the years. In high temperature environments, for example, LFP batteries perform better than their competitors, making them ideal for extreme climates like those in Texas, the Middle East, or Australia. Tesla is clearly positioning itself to dominate the stationary energy sector, not just the mobility sector. Another important aspect of this movement is pricing. With the average cost of batteries falling to around $115 per 